everyone and welcome to day 30 of August and it's also lemon day yay <laughs> we're gonna have a lemon themed day today so we started the day with an espresso with a twist of lemon and uh, I'll cut that in here you can see how I made that we're starting lemon day by making a little espresso which we're going to then put in a twist of lemon espresso is ready Kicking off Lemon Day. We also have been making Lemoncello over the past week and I'll show you uh, the steps that we took to do that because you use the lemon peel to do that so you peel I think we peeled about 14 maybe 15 lemons because we had tiny ones and most recipes call for a 10 to 12 but ours were kind of small. So we peeled them and we put them in a gigantic mason jar and then we poured a bottle of vodka over them. So you can make it with grain alcohol or you can make it with vodka. And I bought some Seagram's smooth tasting vodka or something like that. Cause I'm not really a big um, vodka drinker, um, but I do like limoncello when it's homemade. So we poured that over and then you put the light in and you keep it in a cool dark place for four days. And then you make a simple syrup which is just dissolving sugar in some water over a low heat because you don't want it to boil or burn. And then you add that to the mixture to sweeten it up because you know it's just a lot of lemon so it could be bitter. And, um, and then you leave that for another day. And then last night we strained it out and we've been chilling it in the refrigerator. So we're gonna sample that today and see how it turned out. But because you only use the peel, we had 14 bald lemons. <laughs> so we also made lemonade, which came out really good. And we kind of did the same thing. We just used the lemon juice and then we made a simple syrup because it's really hard to dissolve sugar in something that's not warm. Uh, so we made the simple syrup and we mixed it with the lemon juice. And we just did a little at a time to get the right flavor because I like it to be a little bit tart. I don't like it to be overly sweet. Um, so we really made some delicious lemonade. So I'll show you that too. Um, for lunch today, I think I'm going to make one of my favorite salads and it is a white bean and arugula salad and I make a lemon vinaigrette with it and we serve it usually over a piece of bread or something like that or maybe like a piece of toast or Italian bread um, and it makes a really nice lunch and the lemon dressing, I love making salad dressings out of lemon instead of vinegar, it just has a really bright, fresh taste um, and because it's lemon themed day today, we're going to carry that through to dinner. So tonight I'm going to make Greek chicken, which is a boneless chicken that I make where I bake it in the oven on a piece of, piece of parchment on a baking sheet. But I surround the chicken with slices of lemon and I also make a breadcrumb mixture with lemon zest and garlic and I sprinkle that on top. So I'm not making a really a breaded chicken, I'm just kind of sprinkling the breadcrumbs on top and we have some halloumi cheese that we're gonna put on top of that, which holds up really well in the oven. We're gonna bake that in the oven and then the lemon slices around it also infuse the flavor. And I know that I wanted to make some kind of side dish for it. And since it's lemon day, I know that Giada de Laurentiis has a really popular dish called lemon spaghetti. I've never tried it. Uh, so I think I'm gonna try to make her lemon spaghetti, but just as a side dish, cause I read the recipe and it's very, very lemony. I don't know if I could eat a whole meal of that, but I think it'll make a nice side dish to accompany the chicken. So that's what we're doing for today. And I hope you enjoy it. And to the subscriber who suggested that we do a lemon day, thank you again and I'll give you a shout out at the end of the video. <laughs> so thanks for watching. Come along for the day. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. <laughs> Just taking a walk through a very peaceful place. getting out into nature. In this bowl, I have some wild arugula and some white cannellini beans. I put some salt and pepper. I'm gonna put in a little bit of this Cento Italian seasoning. And I'm going to squeeze on some lemon juice. And add some extra virgin olive oil. We're gonna toss this together and we're gonna serve it on bread.
recipe I'm following for tonight's dinner, but I'm not making drumsticks. I'm using boneless chicken. And I'm not using feta cheese. Uh, kind of adapting it to my own tastes. Well, here I have our chicken laid out on a piece of parchment on a baking sheet. I've oiled the baking sheet. I have my lemon slices in between. I've salt and peppered all of the chicken. And now I'm going to lay pieces of halloumi cheese on top. And in here I have some breadcrumbs mixed with some olive oil, some minced garlic, some pepper, and some lemon zest. And that's going to go on top. And now I've put the breadcrumb mixture loosely on all of the pieces and this is going in a 350 degree oven. And here's the chicken out of the oven. So I'm cutting Jada's recipe in half. So in here I have a third a cup of cheese and I'm gonna add a third a cup of extra virgin olive oil and a quarter cup of freshly squeezed lemon juice. And then the pasta, when it's cooked, gets tossed in this mixture. I've also chopped up some fresh basil that's going on the pasta when it's all finished. This is the pasta that I chose to use. In Jada's recipe, she uses spaghetti, but I thought it would be fun to use this long facility. Pasta's cooked, so I have the cheese in the bowl, and I'm going to whisk in the oil. I reserved a little of the cooking liquid. I'm going to add this a little at a time as needed. Probably plenty. joining me for day 30 of vlogist lemon day <laughs> i hope you enjoyed lemon day and thank you for do androids dream for recommending that we do something with lemons the whole day was inspired by you so i hope you enjoyed it and this is going to be the last day of vlogist i'm not going to post tomorrow i hope that you have been following along with the recipes or that you at least take some inspiration from them and try some of them out and i hope it makes you feel better and full of lovely beautiful food don't forget to subscribe so you can keep up with what i do the rest of the year <laughs> And there will be more recipes to come, I assure you. And if you want to follow along on my blog, it's DonnaDeRosa.com, and you can see the address on the end card that'll follow just after this. <laughs>